presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Look at that. I can still do it. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is TFNN. <laughs> we go seven days a week. We go, tw we go 24 hours a day. Yeah, we go 24 hours a day. We go seven days a week. Market. Market-wise out here, what we're doing is this. We have the Dow Industrials up 99. NASDAQ's up 161. S&P's are up 29. Gold. Gold contract up $2.30, trading out at 1945 an ounce. We have silver up 19 cents, $23.36 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 27 cents, 87 dollars, 24 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down three ticks, trading at 109.26. The 30-day down 14 at 109, uh, 119.04. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now is trading down 520 ticks, 104.570. Euro is at 107. Yen's trading at the price point of 146, and the British pound is at 125 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Oh, no, we got to read that card. My God, I got off kilt here. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. And, you know, it's 9-11... If you, you know, something that you could uh, go on demand, um, 60 Minutes had the full hour last night. They had done a program two years ago, and there's this full hour on 9-11, on the firefighters, on the first responders, about as intense as you can get. And, you know, the bravery and heroics and all of the above. I don't even know if there's that many people that are that heroic around anymore, to tell you the truth. Um, but I'm sure there are. That's what, you know. Anyway, it was an amazing program. I remember it last time. I watched it last night. And, you know, you know, a lot of hurt out there. There's no doubt about it. And then on, now this is kind of cool. You know, that part, you know, is life. That's what life is, right? That's how it goes. Now what I got, check this out. This is so cool. I talked to Nancy Rol Rolfs last week. And... It's so applicable. This came in overnight today, and it's TAPS, okay? So I'm going to read what they wrote about Bud Rawls. This is from the West Point in the next section. Um, you know, this is, this is pretty cool. But anyway, so the next section, we're going to read about that, uh, what they were saying about Bud Rawls. Spy. What do they have with the spy out here? So the spy is doing 41 million shares. They're at 448.51. You have volume right now of 41 million. Now, if we go to the futures, this market's telling me it's gonna hold price right now. Because the highs to me still wanna get hit because of the fact that there's no more sellers at the lows. Again, that's just, you know, that's, it was, the, the volume was really low. So you can see, when we always talk about where the volume is, well, you had volume right off the bat this morning, and then it gave it up. Now it's going to go try to reach that high again, which is the 4493. Right now you're at 4491. We're going to take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. What we have the Qs out here is that the, the Qs actually have more. Well, two different things ended up happening with the Qs. The Qs didn't retrace as much as the SPY, which is saying that the Qs are more powerful than the SPY, stronger. And the Qs are going to have more volume than Friday, which I don't think the, you know, the SPY won't. It's, it's, we did 35 million of the Qs Friday. We're going to do a lot more than that. We're at 31 already. 
Now, granted, we're going into 42, but we might even make 42. And if we make 42, your probability goes a lot higher that you're going to go right into these highs. We take a look at the NQs. Yeah, see, the NQs, you can say, this is so cool when you look at different indices and you can see who has the strength. I mean, look at this. The NQs already took out the highs that the S&P is trying to get up to. You know, the, the, the high in the NQ versus the S&P was that, uh, that 15,000, what's that, 540, 646. Well, we're at 15,676. We're, we're blowing that away. We go to the uh, note and bond market. Take, take a look at note and bonds, okay? So inside the note and bond market, this is a good setup. Meaning what I mean by a good setup is that you bonds, note, to me, note and bonds have topped out. Now look at this. This is really cool, man. So first we came off the lows with a couple signs of strength. We pulled back. And as we pulled back, we pulled back last Wednesday, Thursday, try to go higher Friday. Wednesday, you did 1.4 million. Thursday, 1.2. Well, today you're doing 839,000 in rejected low. And it's going into 2.7 million. Higher price is coming at us. Higher price, lower yield. We go to the good old dollar, because it's still all about the dollar, but the dollar, well, the bonds, are ringing the dollar. You know, the dollar is ringing the market, the bonds are ringing the market. And what you have with the dollar is that this has been the magic number for quite some time. And we'll see whether, you know, number one, can we close below it today? And can we get some follow through? You know, and it's so applicable that I'm going to do this memorial on Bud coming up the next section because. This is the channel master, man. You know, bottom line, broke, come up, and went back inside the range again. Now, what would end up happening here, this would be called, you go inside the range, that would be a false break. Normally, when there's a false break, you can turn, and if, and if you get follow through in the turn, it'll be a very large turn, because it's very unusual that, number one, you do such a small retracement, because the dollar did a very small retracement, so that's saying that the dollar is very powerful. Got back up there, couldn't hold it, then come back down. The reason I'm saying that the, it normally would end up happening, people would be piling and buying at this particular point. Now, if you look at the larger action and the dollar, though, see, the larger action, the dollar's still been in a downtrend. You know, this has been a heck of a run, for the dollar, but when you take a look at it, you're going to see that all it's really done is that, you know, it's been coming up to its highs, and in fact, if this is it, what you're going to have here is that you're going to have three lower lows and two lower highs. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 82. Nasdaq's up 157. S&P's up 27. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So this is the book that Nancy sent me. Yes, and, and this is so cool that it came today. Um, big time. So it's called TAPS 2023. It's the West Point Association of Graduates. And let me just read to the front of it. Well, first off, I'm in Mr. Bud Rolfs, okay? Walter A. Bud Rolfs, Jr. was born December 6, 1951, passed away a year ago yesterday, September 10th, 2022. And what the beginning of the book says, this is, this is how this works, folks, okay? We are pleased to present the 2023 edition of TAPS, the West Point Association of Graduates' official memorial publication of the Long Gray Line. This year's edition contains the most memorial... Memorial articles ever published, 361. Each one fulfills TAP's mission to honor and record the legacy of the long gray line, West Point, of course, you know, Army, you know, through the personal life stories and graduates of former cadets. Since this started in 1869, and there's been 15,000 memorial articles published, which represents more than 60% of the long gray line's deceased members. So now let's go to it. So, and then this is the article. They, they give everyone a full page. And what happens is that other cadets write this about their friends, because of course it's a huge society. There could not have been a more appropriate home town for Walter Arnold Bud Rolfs Jr. than Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. For throughout his life, Bud brought joy wherever he went. In high school, he was known as an athlete on the football, wrestling, and basketball team, as well as a poet, a singer. We know he's a poet, that's for sure. A singer in the chorus and an avid chess player. His creative mind was always working on ways to amuse and otherwise entertain his friends. Whether it was as a leading cast member of The Music Man or producing or co-starring in video parodies of Batman and Robin, using his friends Buick and Victor as their Batmobile. I could picture that, man. Bud was a commensurate entertainer. Bud was also a fierce competitor. One of his main traits he gleaned from his coach and mentor, Mr. Walter Pierce, remained a respected and positive influence to Bud's adult life. Bud received nominations to the U.S. Military Academy, the Coast Guard Academy, and the Merchant Marine Academy, which, by the way, folks, <laughs> every one of them is so hard to get into, it's amazing. And he chose West Point for reasons that he never explained to us, his classmates. After our eight-week beast barracks, Bud became a member of the initial pleb class of Company 
I-4. He quickly was well known for his quick wit and friendly nature. It was particularly fortunate for I-4 Pleb to be assigned to the mess hall table with Bud because obtaining <laughs> a follow was ceremony, was certainly whenever Bud would seize the opportunity to raise from his chair and parade up and down the aisles singing, oh, we got trouble here in River City with the capital, with a capital T that rhymes with P that stands for pool. Nothing in the cadet experience, not the Department of Electrical Engineering, the Office of Physical Education, nor the tactical department faced him. Potentially irritating experiences such as the Buckner Company commander addicted to double timing and some of he double timing folks, okay, um, if you haven't been in the military, you're running, okay. Just provided fodder for Bud's creative mind to produce jokes and funny songs. In the summer beginning cow year, Bud met Nancy Marie Formatado, for my, uh, sorry, Nancy, <laughs> um, a Newburgh native and rising sophomore of SUNY at Newplatz, which had grown up, who had grown up resolved to have nothing to do with the member of the Corps of Cadets. Budge Charm and Inherit Goodness changed her mind on that score, and on January 17th, 1973, they married. This was 11 days after graduation, and Bud's only regret 49 years later was that he had wasted 11 days of his life. He's told us that many times on the air live, folks. Bud became a field art artillery officer and served his military obligations at Fort Raleigh, Kansas in the 1st Infantry Division. He and Nancy Marie were blessed with their daughter Amy in May 1975 and their, er er their son Eric on Christmas Day 1976. Followers on his discharge from the regular army, Bud joins the Polaroid Corporation of Massachusetts. Over the next 20 years, he rose steadily through Polaroid and led many high-profile projects, eventually becoming vice president overseeing the instant film Global Division. One significant innovation that he introduced to enhance the quality of Polaroid's manufacturing practices became the subject of a Harvard Business Review case study. He obtained an MBA from uh, Rivera College and completed the executive development program at Cornell University. He, la he later worked at Analogic Corporation and developed a second career as a stock market analyst on a national radio program, earning the nickname the Channel Master. And you know what's so applicable, man? He's up there taking care of me right now. He's taking care of all of us. But I'm telling you, I'm long gold. I want a failure on this. It's his Channel Master. And failed today. So we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> Throughout his successful career, he believed that the most important lesson from being a cadet was the response and attitude of no excuse, sir, which he had learned on our day. He lived by that credo and opted that he had served him well in his life. Throughout his life, Bud's primary focus was his beloved Nancy and their family. Theirs was a very happy home and a tight knit family. They were delighted when Bud graduated from the University of, when Amy graduated from the University of New Hampshire in 1977 and obtained her Master of Engineering degree from MIT the following year. In 1999, they proudly witnessed Eric graduate from the United States Military Academy, West Point, following Bud's footsteps. Eric went on to receive the, an MBA a degree from MIT. As the years progressed, Bud and Nancy were blessed with three grandchildren and four grandsons, whom Bud lovingly des designated as the Magnificent Seven. We heard about them. These children became the center of his universe for Nancy and Bud. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry for, sorry about that. The kids adored their papa and all his West Point stories, his jokes, the amazing poems that he wrote for them, the delicious feasts that he cooked, and the ever-adventurous trips that he shared with them. Although in his later years, Bud suffered greatly from a series of debilitating del illnesses, he refused to let them interfere with his goal of helping and caring for others. When he chatted from his sickbed with classmates, he was always more interested in the lives and their lives than in his own. His belief in Jesus Christ and the redemption power of prayer caused Bud to be outspoken in his convictions. His faith remained steadfast even in the wake of receiving his terminal diagnosis. During the months before he died, Bud changed his opinion about the best thing he took from West Point. While still 
valuing, no sir, no excuse sir, he concluded that the lifelong friendships he had made were what he valued most from being a West Point cadet. Knowing and loving Bud has been a treasured aspect of the lives of his family and classmates. He remains with us he remains with us when we recall his stories and jokes, read his poems, think of his family's get together, and whenever we ponder the select group of special people who have made our lives better. Well done, Mr. Rawls, well done indeed. Grip hands. And that was written by Paul F. Bennett, 1973. He was a, also a uh, you know, a graduate with Bud. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 87. You get the NASDAQ up about 171. S&Ps are up about 29. And let's go take a look at, um, this is going to be interesting here, too. So you had Disney and Charter. This, this would have been the first football game, NFL game. They came to, you know, an agreement so that they can run the NFL tonight on Monday Night Football. So you get Disney up a dollar. That's trading at 82. You get Charter 
up $12, and Charter's been at the high, where Disney's been at the low. So it's going to be really interesting to see just what was given up or what was taken away or vice versa and all of the above. You know, bottom line is that I think what it, I, I suspect what it's done more than anything is giving most folks a real heads up that you might as well look at what you're getting for what you're paying because we're all paying too much if you're paying that Spectrum bundle. There's no doubt, man. I mean, there's just, yeah, well, we'll I'll find out when I start doing the numbers. Let's go take a look at the um, inside the NDX, the strength versus the weakness. Tesla is the number out here today. Tesla's up 10%. Qualcomm's up 4.2. We'll get to Qualcomm and Apple. That's the Qualcomm and Apple deal. Datadog's up. So Qualcomm's up 4%. Datadog's up 3.9. You get taken away from it is that you have uh, Diamond Rock uh, Energy down 2.5. AstraZeneca's off 2.4. Walgreen Boots is off uh, 2. And Illumina's off 2. So if we go to Qualcomm first, let's take a look at Qualcomm. That's trading up 440. So Apple made another deal with Qualcomm. That's saying that the, the Apple chip's not ready. Um, pull this back a bit. Well, yeah, see, there's not much in both of these equities. You know, you don't, yeah, Qualcomm, to me, still wants to go lower price. Like down to about, what, 110, like 80. That's 80? Yeah, 88 is game. We go to Apple. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple's in trouble, man. Yeah, Apple's trading 179. That didn't give them any juice. Apple won't even have as much volume as it did on Friday. Friday, it went up with light volume, 64 million. It's only done 45. Apple looks like it's going to be, most times when you see a couple gaps like this, folks, big gaps, they don't come in twos, they come in threes. And I suspect what we're going to have with Apple is that you're inside the lower range now. And, you know, the lower range on this is uh, 124. The thing that's amazing, right, is that, so picture this, the NASDAQ is still stronger. Now, Apple has been the biggest weighting structure in all of these indices. But then, as someone else always seems to take over if markets want to go higher. And in this particular case, you know, you can see what Tesla's doing. Tesla's on a run, man. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. In fact, when you look at, I went through this before. If you look at this, though, this is, like, pretty impressive, man. So look at this. Look at these numbers. You know, I know they're coming down on price pretty dramatically, but when you look at Tesla has gone from $24 billion in 2019 to $100 billion this year, and they're going to go another 28% above that next year. And the bottom line is that the last time they lost any money was five years ago. They actually made 13 cents. They had two quarters of losing and two quarters of winning. And the acceleration, you know, is not big, but, you know, they went from making 13 cents in 2019, they plan on 336 this year, and then 479 next year. So when you look at the expansion of Tesla, and then you look at the other big car companies, I mean, it's not even close. The other car companies aren't growing at all. You know, not at all. In fact, they're contracting. And then, of course, they're going to face a, we'll see if a strike's going to come. They're, they're going 24 hours a day right now. That's how they're going to go. Hopefully, they won't strike. They'll come to agreement. We take a look at the inside the Dow Industrials. You get uh, Microsoft putting 24 positive points, Amgen 17, you got Procter & Gamble 12, Apple 11. Taken away from it, we have uh, Chevron down 27, oh, no, putting 27 negative points, United Health 12. Nike 6, not much all around. Oil, let's go to the oil market, because that thing still has juice, man. Oil right now. It's hanging up there, man. If we put this on, let me put this CL1. I'm going to put this on a continuous contract. Yep, CL1. Uh, 
Come on. I'm putting this back 20 years. Never thought 20 years would be, like, quick. <laughs> there it is. Come on. There it is. Okay. So, I see. You got a one big range. That's about it. Yeah. You know, when you put this like this, that's what you're talking. You're talking it's range bound. I mean, realistically, you know, 90, 95, 101 is a game. That's where it came down off the highs the last time. You know, they had, they had a bunch of tops, you know, in 2011, 12, 13. But when you actually, now watch this. Even though we know it had that crash, but when you take the Fibonacci sequence off of that, even the crash, it was only a 38% retracement. So when you do a 38% retracement, that is saying that you can not only go to the highs, you can break the, break the highs, you can do an ABC up. And, you know, as I said earlier, it's all going to be contingent on that good old U.S. dollar. We take a look at the gold contract. You know, gold out here today. Last week we came into its strength. We did it with tremendously light of volume. Today, you got to 1954. You trade in 1946. But this needs more volume, you know. It's showing there's no sellers, but you don't have any buyers here either, even though it's positive. You know, you, we need this number here, meaning the contract number in gold, to start banging out 200, 225. You know, the setup's still all right. And, you know, as I went through the gold report, there is divergence, for sure, in the equities. But what there also is, is that the RAND is saying that it does want to go higher, which is a confirmation that the dollar wants to go lower. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials uh, up 82. NASDAQ up 170. S&P's up 28. We're coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 87, Nasdaq's up 171, S&P's are up 29. Let's go with our man Jose from uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Tom, uh... What the heck is Amazon doing here? It's teetering. It's right at the highs here. You liked it a month ago. What's going on with it? It looks to me like you're an ABC up, man. Let's take a look. So you got Amazon. The low of Amazon this year is 81. The high is 143. Next time they come out with numbers is October 27th. Now, what we had is that, you know, when this thing gapped up, that was an ABC up. So when I put this on a weekly, you have, you know, yeah, you have a weekly ABC up. You know, you took out the B point. The B point was at 136. The A point is the 88. That gives you a price projection of 174. So wow, well, yeah, that's what it's looking like. And you know, they they're gonna they're gonna pick up a lot. I you know, I don't know if you're, I think you are a football fan, but anyway. This Thursday night deal, they're gonna, you know, they're they're hitting a lot of different cylinders, um, you know. So it looks like they're gonna, you know, they're gonna looks like it's gonna launch again, man. You know, it, once it launches 146, see this 146, that 146 right there is kind of, is, no, is where it broke down. That's where ice is. You launch the 146, and then you know, the ABC. So would you would you be cautious and wait until it got above 146? Yeah, that'd be a good way of doing it, yeah, because that's only three points away, you know. And what you'd want to see, so here, this is the number. On the weekly, you want more than 231 million shares. And last week, we did 169. You get that on the weekly, and you're going to have some good sailing, man. I got you. Hey, Tom, one more. Cadence Design System, CDNS. That broke down a little bit last week. With uh, did, did it come down on volume? Do you, do, do you not like let's, the volume on that? Let's take a look. The, the low is 138. The high is 248. You're trading 243. Next time it comes out with numbers is October 24th. Uh, no, that's all right. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying, though. So what, what that's yeah. doing... So this is going to consolidate more because the, the, let me see this here. So we came down with 1.5, but yet it was going into the 2 point, no, the 3.3 the going all the way back to May. Let me put this on a weekly. So on a weekly, Hold back. Yeah, you're still all right, man. The, the, okay. number keep, the number to keep your eye on here is 232. So, Jose, when you're lo looking at a chart, put it on a weekly, right? And what you're going to see, that is a nice sign of strength right there. It has good volume at the top. And, you know, for the way this made the run from this, you know, 138 coming up was a straight line move. It's going to take more time. It's it's building. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Tom. Tom, the overall market September October. What do you What are your thoughts? <sighs> I know it's so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is about as deviant as you get. I think we're going up, man. My my take is that we're going up because 
what should have happened is that we already should have taken a hit. The hits that we've taken on the way down, the volume is contracted immediately. And as you know, I have Tim Ward on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And what has happened is that people freak out with just a small pullback. Yeah. And yeah. so when that Absolutely. happens, that's just more fuel. And if that's what we get, if we get the breakdown, my take right now is the dollar is running everything. And if that breaks, then the market's going higher, man. And what that is, you know, so overall what that is, is that, yes, you're at a higher number, but we've been in inflation for a while. I think inflation's beat, too. But what does happen when I say beat, well, we probably already went up 30% compared to, you know, three years ago, right? And price, it just means that, yeah, now you go up 2 2.5% a year, but you don't go back to, like, where you were three years ago. So you, I got you. So you have a higher number, but you can't buy what you bought with that higher number. I got you. Tom, mortgage applications at a 30-year low. However, supply of homes still a problem. Does that make sense to you? My take is that it's a frozen market. And a frozen yeah. market's not a great market. Now, that being said, um, <laughs> I put a couple places up this weekend, and I, had, I was flooded. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, there's people out there. There's, there's going to be a bid coming in right now. I know there is. Um, you know, so I think the I, I think it's on Thorin right now. Um, when I talked to this mortgage broker that I've done a lot of business with, and this was really intriguing, he was talking about the aspect that you know you have mortgages at par, folks, and when mortgages at par means if they're quoting you seven percent, you're going to pay seven percent. You don't pay points. Well, he was saying there's no such thing as par right now because Wall Street. So picture this: they get the mortgage in the hand. They sell at the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac ASAP. That's how it goes. So what ends up happening is that they have a they have a pullback when they sell that. If the mortgage gets paid off too quickly, meaning like three, four years, there's a pullback to the brokerage that they have to turn around and pay who they're selling it to. So what they're doing is that they're padding it with a point and a half to two points. So uh. so they're, you know, so Wall Street is also thinking. The bottom line is that, you know, rates of basically if they're not at the top, they're very close to the top. And that there's going to be a refinancing boom probably in a couple of years. That's beyond belief again, because if, you know, you run them up, top them out, run them down, yep. Yep. run them up. Yep. Right. <laughs> right. And this is going to coincide with the new new president coming in or whatever is going to happen um, uh, in a year. Pretty much. Tom, do investors do any buying of homes in this environment? Investors? They haven't. No, they haven't. They have not. They have not. They That's have, right. It's, yeah. You know, it, what, what happens is this, is that uh, the, the difference here, the, there is a huge amount of equity. Everyone has a huge amount of equity. So that's why you have a frozen market. And if, in fact, that this is it and the market's starting back again, which it looks like it is, I mean, in a big way, um, you know, the bottom line is that that I was telling Bestford, who you know was on with me, I remember this the last time this happened because I was just starting to buy homes. This, I'm going back to the 70s now. And I remember as soon as they knew or the market felt like inflation was beat, the price of homes skyrocketed for the next three years because it's like, uh, oh, yeah. Say, say that again when interest rates, say that again. As soon as, as soon as, all, everyone understood that the rates have topped, right? The price yeah. of homes skyrocketed the next three years. I but, got you. I and, got and you. It's but, a, but does that mean rates have to start? To, does that mean the Fed has to do its pivot? That's correct. That, okay. And, and, and it's all okay. contingent, of course, on what is the monthly payment. The monthly payment goes down, the price of the house goes up. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Great deal. Good deal. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industries up 61, Nasdaq's up 157, S&P's up 26. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's up 59, Nasdaq's up 149, S&P's up 25. We have Oracle coming out with numbers after the close. So you have Oracle... You know, last time numbers, big numbers, you know, you, you, you do have an ABC structure up with a price projection of 132. You're almost there. You know, so I think it'll mess around, probably, you know, try to get up to that 137 again. Is it 137? No, 127. 127 is the high. And normally when you have something like this, I mean, this was a straight line move from, you know, 60 bucks to 127. Normally, you're going to have to build a lot more cars um, in order to get the higher price. And I suspect that's going, to, that's going to do it. So I don't expect, you know, big moves out of uh, Oracle. We take a look at the SPY. The SPY has done 48 million. And uh, that's not an expansion of Friday, but still wants higher price. Now, the Qs have. Let's take a look at this. So the Qs have done 35 million. Friday, you only did, oh, you did 35. Oh, no. 35? Yeah, you did 35. Um, you know, so you're going to do probably about 38. And that's saying that these highs want to be had. And, you know, the note and bonds is what it's all about, folks. You know, note, bonds, and the dollar. What you have with the note market is that the volume is anemic today. 
You rejected 109.20, you're at 109.26, you only did 886,000, and then of course the good old dollar, and it looks like we're gonna be under that magic number of 104.699, we're at 104.544. So you get um, another nice move down like this, then you have game of, you know, the bottom of this consolidation, which is a 99, which is saying that the S&P will go higher, notes and bonds will go higher price, lower, lower yield, S&P, gold and silver, and the equities will go higher. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and uh, visit us tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Kicks us off. Bam! Look at them, folks.